from Voyager Wave 2 from Transformers Age of Extinction. Here is Galvatron. Um, now, he's supposed to be Wave 2. He may show up in stores this week. I know some stores are supposedly getting him in, um, but I don't count on it. Now, he's supposed to be Wave 2. He may not come in, into retail stores until later. But Hasbro Toy Shop had him and Hound uh, from the Wave 2 Voyagers up for order yesterday and uh, had said ships in within one business day. So I ordered it, and here they are. So they are, in fact, out there and shipping, which is really cool. Now, here's a quick look. Uh, you just want to see his box art real quick to get a better look at his uh, his face from the box art. You can kind of see his angry eyes and his cool horned helmet. Um, just to look at Galvatron there on the box art. You just kind of have the Prime-esque shoulder things here. But, yeah, he is now... Uh, there's a name for this kind of truck, and I can't remember what it was. But uh, So he's, he's a fancy semi-truck. Now, I know in the movie, supposedly humans get their own Transformers that they control. And uh, so it's entirely possible that this Galvatron is, in fact, Truck Megatron from Dark of the Moon rebuilt and under control of the humans at first. I don't know. You know, I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of these human-controlled, quote-unquote, Transformers uh, become less human-controlled and more uh, autonomous when a lockdown shows up. But again, that's just speculation based on, on what I know of the movie. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, so he's a semi-truck, which is uh, a little weird for Galvatron, but it's a neat-looking semi-truck. And, and toy-wise, it's a nice uh, nice little semi here. Um, I really, do, I, and In vehicle mode, I really do like it. There was some speculation that this was Motormaster at first, and I can totally see that, because like, I think that may have fit, his, fit him a little better had they given him that name. But uh, he's Galvatron, apparently, according to the packaging, as you can see. Galvatron. So, uh, so what are you going to do? Um, he does come with his... Uh, with a blaster weapon with a missile that kind of fires okay. It's, it's not a real powerful missile. It doesn't go that far uh, when it launches. Um, and then there's a peg here on the side that lets it plug into the top of the vehicle. Mode. And it's really kind of 50-50, uh, and like may maybe even like 70-30, maybe even worse than that, on, on whether weapons integrate in alt mode. Like, Scorn hides all of his weapons inside of him. Bumblebee, he has that attached missile launcher, but it hides inside robot mode, and it doesn't stick out on the outside. Crosshairs stores all of his weapons. Um, Prime has a shotgun stuck to his back. Uh, you know, Slug had his giant, flyy, spiky, bladey dinosaur thingy mode uh, with his sword sticking straight out the sides. So, it's kind of hit or miss as to whether they design the weapons to integrate. In this case, obviously, Galvatron does not have it. And it's not e there's not even possible, really, to clip it in back here, is it? No. Um, you, you, even, even with these snapped all the way together, it, it won't hold back there. You, you, I guess you could kind of just plug it in there and support it. But, uh, yeah, it's not intended to uh, store anywhere other than up on top of his vehicle mode. Now, his transformation is, uh, is pretty simplistic. But there's a few neat things. Like his entire cab forms the backpack, but the way it does it is, is a very neat, uh, neat way of doing it. So you flip these panels down here on the sides to cover the wheels, and then you unpeg these. Should peg together like this. Just unpeg the feet, flip them down like this. Uh, now, in, in, when he comes packaged in robot mode, his heels are not flipped out. So you want to make sure you flip the heels out and click them into place, lock them into place back here. Because if you don't, if you don't lock them. They don't really get, they, they stick out like that and make them hard to stand. So you want to make sure you click that all the way up into place so it's horizontal. And once that's done, rotate these forward. And you can see underside of the truck, there's this whole torso right there. Now on the upper body here, and th this is where it's actually kind of a little neat. Uh, you want to unpeg this, um, this whole thing. Well, actually, before you, you want to lift this up. You, you, uh, flip the wheels up. There we go. Flip the wheels up. Grab the whole cab and lift it up. And you can see here's his arms, which uh, once you get the, you may have to pull the legs down a little bit to get them out of the way. Uh, bring this all the way back and then flip his arms out. And his arms will flip up and lock into his torso here. Clip those in, bring them down, and then flip his head forward, which again, make sure you push it all the way down until it locks into place. It'll, it'll sit right here, but it will actually uh, lock into place like that. And then the, the cab part, you can see here's the whole cab sitting on his back. But you lift this up to here, and then you want to go ahead and fold this down before you collapse it. And then the whole backpack kind of spring collapses 
Uh, there's a little channel here on the top of this that there's a little tab on, on the top of here to keep it locked in place. But the whole cl cab collapses and then this folds up onto his back. And then this piece right here, tab, there's a little tab on the underside of this that tabs in behind his head to lock the whole thing in place. There we go. And there he is in robot mode. Now again, he does have, um, he's very solid, and like I said, there's a really nice, a lot of neat design elements going on here. Um, he's very detailed, a lot of it gets lost in the solid gray plastic, which is a bit of a shame. But he's not, he's not a bad robot. He's nice, chunky, he's solid, he's got good posability here in his arms. Uh, you know, swivels the shoulder, a bicep swivel, dual jointed elbows. Um, he doesn't have a wrist swivel, unfortunately, but, you know, these pauldrons, his head's on a ball joint, it actually gets a, a nice range of mo motion. Uh, he's got universal hips, and then a swivel, uh, knees, and then he's got uh, joints both ways at the ankles. And all in all, like, like you said, robot mode-wise, he's not a bad-looking robot. He, he, a lot of his detail gets washed out by lack of paint, but it's, it's, it's a nice design for a robot. It's a nice design for a generic robot. I, ju I just feel like, had they called him Motormaster... I would not have a problem with it. The fact that he's supposed to be Galvatron, yeah, unless he actually is Megatron rebuilt, um, I kind of have an issue with him being called Galvatron. That's a personal thing, because outside of that one nitpick, I think the toy itself is actually a pretty solid toy. Uh, you know, like I said, if you turn him around, he does have the big backpack, but the way it collapses up, it doesn't really interfere with anything, and the way his main robot mode is built, it doesn't really impact his silhouette from the front. So, um... So it's it's kind of it's it's some nice engineering uh, on on a robot. Like I said, I wish was anybody other than Galvatron. Um, now his weapon, he he does have this peg which he can hold the weapon by. But there's also a peg up here, and with the wiry detail that looks kind of like the wiry detail in the rest of him, it kind of covers up his hand, and so it kind of looks like it's maybe in in the movie, and it wouldn't be the first time uh, that the weapon kind of grows out of his arm. It looks like it's supposed to be part of his actual body. Um, extended out, and that's cool. Um, I do think that uh, again, talking about like weapon storage and things like that, very different from the mech tech that we got. You know, type of weapons before where uh, weapons were meant to be interchangeable and swapped around and plugged into different places because it, it it would have been very easy to just put a port here on his arm somewhere that would have allowed you to use uh, this other peg on him. It would it would have been nice to be able to take his cannon. And uh, and attach it here in some way. You know, just, like, there's, I, I just, like I said, maybe he doesn't use it in the movie, but even so, it would have been nice to at least have had that option, just to just to give a little bit more of homage to the Megatron slash Galvatron arm cannon. Um, there, now his che the hole in his chest is hollow all the way through, but it doesn't appear like that's supposed to do anything. Uh, the weapon doesn't interact with it in any way. So yeah, size comparison-wise, uh, some people ask to see size comparisons with previous Voyagers from different lines to get an idea of size. So uh, here he is with, uh, with a breakdown. You can see he's a little bigger than a Prime Voyager. And here he is with Springer. So a little bigger, a little bulkier than uh, Voyager Springer. Um, you just, I mean, like I said, the, the camera angle is making him look, Springer look a little taller. Megatron, Galvatron is... Just slightly taller at the top of the head here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, here he is with uh, Voyager Optimus from the Age of Extinction line, the Evasion Mode Optimus. Now, in cab mode, in truck mode, he is a bigger truck cab than Optimus because Optimus kind of compacts down. But uh, in robot mode, they're, they're fairly evenly matched, and I like that. So, yeah. It, um, like I said, toy-wise, it's a fun toy. It, it's, it's, he's, he's, like, Hound, I, I think, of the two in, this, in Wave 2, I think Hound is the better of the two. But Galvatron's actually a pretty solid toy in his own right. Like I said, my biggest issue with this is not the toy itself, it's that it's supposed to be Galvatron. Now, it's possible in the movies we'll get a little bit more character interaction or character development that will, uh, make him more the Galvatron we know. I know Frank Welker is doing his voice, so, uh, so we'll see, but, uh, but as it is, it's just a little it's just a little generic to be Galvatron in my mind. I love his head sculpt. Regardless of who he is, his head sculpt is really neat. He's not doing his I'm cutting a car in half O face. But again, it's a really nice head sculpt, especially with the with the shape of the helmet and, and all that stuff I really dig. Although again, 
much like the rest of the body, there's a lot of detail here. And even like Prime's face on the evasion mode Optimus, there's a lot of detail here that's just getting lost in, in the lack of paint apps. So I'm curious to see how Takara paints him up because they may... Um, I don't know if he's going to be worth importing unless they really step up the game on the paint apps for uh, the Takara version. But um, but yeah, it would be nice to see him paint it up a little better just, just to get an idea, pick out a little bit more detail because you've just got these huge... Even when there is paint, it's huge chunks of just blue over some wires. Blue over the... you know, like, And I would have liked to have seen a little bit more detail picked out uh, and maybe even a little bit more detail paint, any p detail picked out on the gun itself, and I did not focus that again. So, uh, so apologies for the, for the focus there, but you can see this is big chunks of blue and copper, and, and the copper is even plastic. The copper's not even a paint app. The only paint apps on here are the blue. Um, I don't even see any silver on there. So, yeah, it's, uh, he might, he might have a little bit of a, he does have a little bit of a copper paint app right around his eyes. Just a little bit right next to his eye has some copper on it. So, oh, and down here on the legs. But, uh, like I said, all in all, a solid figure. It's worth picking up just for the fun of it. Uh, I don't know if you're going to, I mean, if you have a huge attachment to Galvatron, you might be a little disappointed that this is Galvatron. But, uh, but yeah, there he is, uh, Voyager Galvatron from Transformers Age of Extinction Wave 2.